This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2576, Eight Things Every Person Should Do Before 8 a.m., part one, by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. And I'm your narrator, Justin Mollick, reading you blogs every single day of the year. Now, today's article is a little longer than normal, so I'll read the first half today and then finish up the rest tomorrow. So with that, let's get right to part one as we optimize your life. Eight Things Every Person Should Do Before 8 a.m. Part One by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. Quote, we would rather be ruined than changed. We'd rather die in our dread than climb the cross of the moment and let our illusions die. W.H. Auden. Most people's lives are a reflection of their past rather than their future. For most people, today will look quite similar to tomorrow. 2019 will look similar to 2018. Most people's lives are highly predictable, and there's a very good reason. Your brain is quite literally a prediction machine designed to keep you from situations and scenarios filled with uncertainty and possibility of failure. According to several psychologists, the foundation of all fears is the unknown. We want our lives to be predictable. We don't wanna deal with the intense emotions involved in doing something new and different. Trying something new and attempting to change your life will, without a doubt, cause anxiety. But according to the philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, quote, to venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom, end quote. In order to move forward in your life, you'll need to embrace difficulty and uncertainty, or what you might typically consider anxiety, which Kierkegaard called the dizziness of freedom. Embracing a bigger future is how you change. And according to Albert Einstein, quote, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change, end quote. The only way to change is to stop explaining your life by your past and start explaining your life based on your future. You get to design your life and your future, but in order to do so, you must stop living from your past. Today can't be the same as what happened yesterday. If you really wanna get healthy, then you probably can't eat today what you ate yesterday. Stop repeating the past. Rather than repeating the behavior of your past, you need to act today based on the life you want to have tomorrow. If you wait for tomorrow to start acting how you should today, then you really are just repeating yesterday. As Professor Harold Hill has said, quote, you pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you are left with nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays, end quote. Developing confidence and changing your life. You cannot have confidence in your life without positively moving forward toward a bigger and better future. If your days, weeks, and years are repeating of the past, then you're not confident. Living a comfortable and predictable life is actually a clear reflection of your lack of confidence. You can only have confidence after you've begun living a better life, and then that confidence allows you to think bigger about what is possible. Confidence is the byproduct of prior success. This is one of the reasons it is completely essential that you begin your morning with a routine. The purpose of a morning routine is to get yourself moving toward your grand and exciting future. If you don't have an exciting future that you're working toward, then you are literally stuck in the past. And when stuck in the past, you cannot change your life, but only repeat the patterns that got you here. When you repeat the patterns that got you here, you'll have a lot of empty yesterdays. When you start the day in a higher and more powerful way, you'll immediately begin turning your future a different direction from your past. With this short morning routine, your life will quickly change. It may seem like a long list, but in short, it's really quite simple. Wake up, get confidence and motivation, get inspired and connected, get your body moving, act courageously, create something, and put a little energy into your key relationships. Let's begin. Number one, get a healthy seven plus hours of sleep. The National Sleep Foundation, NSF, conducted surveys revealing that at least 40 million Americans suffer from over 70 different sleep disorders. Not only that, 60% of adults and 69% of children experience one or more sleep problems a few nights or more during a week. In addition, more than 40% of adults experience daytime sleepiness severe enough to interfere with their daily activities at least a few days each month, with 20% reporting problem sleepiness a few days a week or more. On the flip side, getting a healthy amount of sleep is linked to increased memory, longer life, decreased inflammation, increased creativity, increased attention and focus, decreased fat and increased muscle mass with exercise, lower stress, decreased dependence on stimulants like caffeine, decreased risk of getting into accidents, 
decreased risk of depression, and tons more. Google it. The very act of waking up earlier will create an enormous sense of motivation in your life. Like confidence, motivation is the byproduct of action. You can't be motivated without taking positive steps forward toward a desired future. As Harvard psychologist Jerome Bruner said, quote, you're more likely to act yourself into feeling than feeling yourself into action, end quote. Waking up early has the power of making you psychologically bulletproof. If you wake up early and rather than getting sucked into the distraction of your smartphone or the addiction of stimulants, you start vividly imagining your desired future and boldly acting toward that future, then your life will quickly change. It's not rocket science. It just takes having something worth striving for and taking action. Motivation is something you must create every day. You can only be motivated if you're moving forward. Number two, prayer and meditation to facilitate clarity and abundance. Quote, when you change the way you see things, the things you see change. Dr. Wayne Dyer. After waking from a healthy and restful sleep session, prayer and meditation are crucial for orienting yourself toward the positive. What you focus on expands. Prayer and meditation facilitate intense gratitude for all that you have. Gratitude is having an abundance mindset. When you think abundantly, the world is your oyster. There's limitless opportunity and possibility for you. People are magnets. When you're grateful for what you have, you will attract more of the positive and good. Gratitude is contagious. Gratitude may be the most important key to success. It has been called the mother of all virtues. If you start every morning putting yourself in a space of gratitude and clarity, you will attract the best the world has to offer and not get distracted. Number three, write in your journal for five to 15 minutes. Quote, hope looks forward. Faith knows it has already received and acts accordingly. Florence Shin. When you write down your dreams in vivid detail, you begin to engage both your conscious and subconscious minds. Drawing out your dreams in the form of a mind map is also very powerful for engaging both sides of your brain. Writing down your dreams and deeply visualizing them will make them more emotional for you. Until your dreams become emotional, they won't be powerful enough. You need to reconstruct your identity and memory by developing a new and emotionally driven vision of your future. As you write your dreams down every single day, write down the ways in which you will actually achieve those dreams. As you write down your dreams and goals, the right people will start popping into your mind. A key part of your success will be learning how to position yourself such that you cannot connect and collaborate with the right who's. You'll need to first develop lots of personal capability yourself in order to be someone worth connecting and collaborating with. You need to make a firm and committed decision about what you want to become a master of, embrace fully the process of development, only care about what certain people think and ignore everyone else, become so good you cannot be ignored, help the right people further their goals, invest in the right mentorships, make it about your mentor's goals, be a giver, never lose track of your why, never become complacent about the success you experience, make huge requests, and ask to collaborate with your heroes once you've established credibility and helped them in incredible ways. All of this stuff can and should happen in your journal long before it occurs in reality. You then act and continue acting in powerful ways and watch as your journal entries become more vivid and clear. Watch as your goals become realities quicker and quicker and quicker. Number four, hear that in tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled Eight Things Every Person Should Do Before 8 a.m. by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. Thank you to Benjamin. I'll finish the rest of his post for you tomorrow. A morning routine is something I can definitely work on myself. I still have that bad habit of checking my phone first thing in the morning because that's where my alarm clock is. And then that leads to me wanting to check if there are any urgent text messages. And then why not also check if there are urgent emails? Next thing I know, 30 minutes has passed and I've pretty much checked everything in my phone, it feels like. Instead, I could be doing something that would actually set the tone for the day. I used to meditate first thing in the morning for anywhere from five to 30 minutes. Super helpful. Or as Benjamin mentioned, it could be prayer or writing in a journal. Even just sitting there and breathing. Although you have to watch out for accidentally falling back asleep with that one. I guess same with meditation, really. But the point is, do I really need to spend that time in the morning checking everything? Definitely not. Even those urgent emails or texts, I'll find out soon enough. 
And will I benefit if I just did one of those things just mentioned? Almost certainly. So it's worth exploring, and we're gonna hear a bunch of other ideas from him tomorrow. So with that, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you tomorrow where we'll finish up this post and where your optimal life awaits.